porcupine victim? Yes. Well, look at you. How are you doing? I'm so sorry about what happened. This has got to be so painful for her. You can see she's been salivating. She seems very anxious. And I would be, too, if I had a mouthful of quills like that. Did she have more? Yeah, there were about 20 or 30 in her muzzle that I pulled out. And I couldn't get her to keep her mouth open for me to get the ones on the That's inside. Right. And that's the nice thing with modern chemistry. We can knock her out and give her some pleasurable experiences rather than miserable. How'd you name her solo? She's vocal. She yodels. <laughs> OK. Well, no yodeling for a little while, probably. That's going to hurt your tongue. Come on, sweetie. Come on, solo. Good girl. They're going to get her mouth all cleaned up. Always taken care of. Yeah, we'll have you back singing in no time. Lay down. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Although a porcupine won't kill a dog usually right on the spot, the porcupine quills can migrate and cause all sorts of havoc and possibly death. These are adult quill, but she's also got baby quills in her tongue, too. So this looks like a relatively either a very young porcupine, because the quills are all pretty small. Tiffany, do you have many cases of porcupine quills back in school? Not really, no. We've had plenty while we've been here, though, that's for sure. Porcupine quills are really quite dangerous. What happens is they have little barbs on them, so they only go one way. And they start traveling, and they literally will go through the whole body of the dog. It can cause infection. It can cause a lot of pain. They start up here, but you can see they're already coming through her bottom of her tongue. It's important to get each and every one of the quills out. Otherwise, you leave a piece in, it can still move forward. Oh, she's going to feel so much better. One case I had of porcupine quills that they didn't get them all out of, they ended up in the chest and actually caused problems with the dog later in life. So it's one of those that you really want to get them out. Otherwise, you have issues. You never know where they're coming out. So the dog gets a nice massage right now. We give her this little rub down, looking for more. So we'll never completely know that we don't have some quills left behind, but we do the best we can by examining them with our hands, because if we can feel them with our hands, we know they're there. So we'll go through his coat thoroughly. But right now, it feels like they're all gone. All right. Well, I think she's good. Okay. 22, 23, 24, 25. Ooh. That's a minor league. The majors are when you take four or 500 out. It's going to be painful for her for a few days because her tongue is going to be pretty darn sore. So what we'll do next for Solo, give her some antibiotics just to make sure those things don't get infected, and also probably now add some pain control. Hopefully this won't ruin her singing career.